Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Hagecraft PvP server. I was going to be looking at the one cocoa bean that had grew there until Drifter came along and one-shot it off the front of my camera, but anyway, I'm in a brand new base. As you can tell, I had no idea that this base was actually even being built. I didn't even know that my base had been raided, but apparently it had, and all of the Hades army have come to my rescue, built me a brand new base, there's new chests, there's a new farm, there's tons of cool stuff I'm going to be showing off this episode, so yeah, let's check it out. So I'm in the middle of my faction right now, I think I'm at ground level, I think, or oh, I'm somewhere near ground level. And this is where my little obsidian hut was. As you can see, it has been upgraded into a three-story building. And there's lots of coca beans going around the sides here. So I'm actually going to grab some of them. I do need some money. But Drifter just farmed this. But I guess since he set it up, I shouldn't be stealing too much of his stuff. But there we go. I'll replant that back. I'm hoping to get this farm a little bit bigger. So I might come here off camera, or if any of the Hades Army faction members are watching this, you guys can log on, join the faction, come help me out. I am also going to mention that if I do F who, you'll see that it's just me and Drift on at the moment, but there is 23 other people in the faction. With I think it's a 25 member limit, or it might be 15, I'm not sure. These UUID numbers that Mojang introduced are a bit dodgy. I hate you Mojang. Just kidding, love you. <laughs> But yeah, so I will be increasing the amount of players that can join each faction. But if you more players join, you don't get more power and you don't get more land. But you can have more players join. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So all of you who missed out, who have been messaging me, you can go ahead and join in. Join the faction, get involved and be a part of the Hades army. You can help me out by planting some more farms, building a better base, helping protect the base from raiders. It is actually really fun. A lot of the people have been telling me that they're actually enjoying being in this faction more than their own because it gets attacked so much. It's like a PvP hot zone up there for raiding. So there's always something to do, like defending or raiding or fighting off attackers. Lots of fun, lots of fun. And we're actually going to go read all the signs because they would have had to be in my faction to read the signs. So here we go. We got raided, but hey, Hades, I'm a big fan. Keep up the vid. You were spawned down here, go up the ladders. See, he knew where I was going to spawn because they knew where I set my home. Very smart people they are here. But off we go. Up the ladders. It's been, They actually used glowstone in here. I was very surprised. That made it look alright. It's not the best looking base going around, but there we go. We've got some half slabs there. we got some water protecting the chests. This is actually a very popular design. Having the chests going this way so you can still open the ones at the bottom. And then leaving a block gap above where you put the water, so then you can still open the top chest. Because of course, if you put another block on top of that, you wouldn't be able to have water there, and you wouldn't be able to open the chest, unless you put a half slab. So this is, whoa! Um, okay, I kind of glitched in the chest there, but there you go. And small cut there, guys, but I'm back, and I'm gonna be putting all of my stuff in this chest that I don't need. So things like iron armor kits that I picked up, I while doing 1v1s and things like that. If you're in the faction, you have anything that might want to donate to the other people in the faction. Like, they might need a sword, they might need some iron armor, who knows? So if you have anything spare, make sure to share it between all the people in the faction. I'm sure they'll greatly appreciate that. I'm even chucking some potions in there. So there you go, it's in that top chest, if you're interested. And let's go ahead and read the rest of the signs here. Make sure trapdoors stay shut. Please don't kick Drifter68. I am big fan in UK, so I can't be online sometime. My friend Brandon said hi. Hello, Brandon, and hello, Drifter. Thanks for doing that farm down there. I'm pretty sure you're the one who built that. If not, you're the one who's been farming it, so thank you for that. Now, if we come out here, this is where the Obsidian Shack is, which I think is at grand level. I'm going to double check. Yeah, we're just above grand level here, so we are a bit above which is good. And we got some half slabs here. We got some more half slabs up there. We got some more signs, lots of farm space and one layer around the vault. Look up, there is four layers of water around this base. Holy what the? Who did that? I actually did not see this before recording. Wow. That's GG. The um, stone brick doesn't go up that high, but look at the cobblestone and they would have poured water off the outside of that. Apparently four layers, according to that sign. 
So that is great. Thanks for whoever did that, man. Definitely appreciate it. Pimping out the good old Hades Army base here. Always nice to see. And this is kind of a community base. Because my... Oh, look at that. It is four layers of water. How cool is that? That's definitely really good. And yeah, this is kind of a community base. Because anyone can join. So don't keep your good stuff in there. Because anyone can join and take stuff out of the chest. And just ninja your loot. Oh, I might, have I got fly on? No, I'm still in game mode. Let's get out of that. I must have had fly on from when I was doing admin stuff earlier. But anyway, here we go. So we got the big tower there. And Jed, yeah, don't put anything valuable in there. But donate all the spare stuff you have. So if you need anything, like iron armor or maybe some food or little things like that, definitely stock it up in there. But what I am going to be using is my ender chest. This is where all my good stuff's going to be. And that's where I need it to be, to be honest, because, as I said, people can just join and steal my stuff. So I'm going to be using the ender chest for all of my stuff, which will be definitely worth it for me. What the? Head's most glitchy items in game. What? I just duped his heads. Okay, it's fixed. GG. <laughs> all right, let's see what else is around here. Looks like someone tried to build a sign, but got absolutely demolished by TNT. The village has been annihilated into absolutely nothing. Someone else is building another wall around the outside here with sand. Very nice. Looks like the people tried to raid from this angle as well. They looked like they were a bit successful, but then someone um, patched it up there, so that's nice. I've still got fly. Oh, I wasn't in game mode. I was, oh, it's a different thing. Fly mode is different to game mode. So there we go. Fixed. <laughs> my bad, guys. This series isn't like my previous series. When I used to just be in non-admin mode every episode. Like, no admin commands at all. But, I found out through a lot of feedback from you guys, you do like me being in admin mode a lot more. Although I do have a few stuff ups here and then when I run into battle and I've got, like, an admin mode on. But, overall, it's a lot better. Because I can do giveaways, I can do 1v1 battles, I can do drop parties, I can TP people... I can do a lot of really cool stuff when I'm in admin mode. So I think it is a lot better this way. Is he team? Thank you. Thank you, bros. Doesn't look like they're in the Hades. He takes off all his clothes and he warps away. <laughs> what? That's weird, but there you go. Enjoy. That guy just got a free set. Let's go ahead and check out the other signs around the place here. The other sign board was dedicated to Baby Ivy and... I can't open that chest. Hades asked Spiky Tiger cause a fact claimed this, but Mocha Mouth made it. Nice job anyway, very nice job. I like I see there's so much going on around my base. There's just so many people, so many things getting raided, and I'm I didn't even say I was recording, and we've got a following of people who were just hanging out at the base. They're not in my faction, only Drifter is. The rest of them were just hanging out here for some reason, so that's very cool to see. We'll go around the back here. That looks like it is someone's base inside that sand. I, I, that definitely isn't a, like, seven-thick sand wall. There's definitely something inside of that. And if there's not, well, that was the biggest waste of resources. But I reckon that's someone's base. They might have something nice in there. Who knows? All right, so enough checking out the base. I did jump into admin mode so I could do a quick fly around here just to show you the war zone and how demolished and... TNT rated it actually is and also how high this tower is so really good effort to whoever built that make sure to post in the comments So I know who did it and I can give you the correct Appreciation and shout out for that because that was really good job there But what I'm going to be doing is something that I haven't done in a long time But you guys really enjoyed it when I did it in my last series and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing myself a chest just a normal chest and I'm going to be hiding it somewhere in the world with some awesome loot. Now, for those of you who are watching this video, if you were the first person to watch this video, pause the video right now, jump on the server, and find this chest. Because it's literally the first person who watches my video, who supports my channel, and is watching the video early on, they actually have an advantage to find this chest first, and get all the epic loot that's going to be inside it. So this is another little advantage of me having admin mode. I can do cool little things like this. Now tell me if you like it or not. 
Um, I won't do any more of this if you guys don't like it, but definitely tell me if you do. Go ahead and post in the comment section below. Hey, man, I really like that chest idea. Thanks for the free loot. Tell me something like that and tell me if you get the chest. Right, this looks like a good place to hide it. Where should we dump it here? Straight through this wall, I reckon. Bam. This will be a hard one to find, guys. I'm going to go down. Bam, right here. That's where the chest is. Now, what are we going to put in it? Let's put a kit god. How about we do that? Definitely worth finding. Even if you have tons of armor, you can still grab it for the god apple because god apples are very useful. So there we go. And what else can I put in it? I'll put a... What else is good? What else is good? I'll put some more god apples in it. Why not? Two more god apples in this chest, guys. Bam! That is what I call a good loot chest. All you have to do is find it. I'm not showing you the coordinates, but you can watch my video really slowly and see where I started digging and where I am. And that'll help you locate it, find the chest, and get all the cool loot for yourself. So there you go, guys. Definitely pause the video. Go, go get that loot if you've been watching so far. That'll definitely be worth it. And now, I think it's time to go to the shops and do some more work on my base. We've had everyone else helping me out with the work on my base, but I think it's time for me to start doing some more work here. We're gonna go out of admin mode, of, co of course, for doing work on my, my own base. And what I wanna do is I just wanna check out some prices here, see what we can do. I mean, there is a few different options for making money, but um, I reckon I try and make it the farm bigger for starters. I mean, we need more resources to even get money to do stuff and I really want to start raiding people so let's see if we can help my faction out with that and hopefully no one ruins it of course they can just come and ruin my farm if they really want to but it's not a, it's it's more probably a waste of time doing that to be perfectly honest here we go we'll grab some more of this anyway and we'll also buy some more cocoa beans and we'll set it up so we can get a bit more of a farm going to help out the faction members if they want to make their own money they could even borrow some. It's alright if you borrow some of the cocoa beans, guys. That's perfectly fine. There we go. I'm going to buy that much. That should do. And what else do I need? Um, we do need some more money before we start raiding. Because we will need a lot of TNT. And I'm thinking I might also try and enchant some armor. That might be nice. A nice thing to do. Where is the... I'm going to quickly check. Is there diamond armor in the shop? There's some more potions over there. What's over this side? Yeah, there is diamond armor right here. So what I'm going to do this episode as well is I'm going to buy a diamond set and see what enchant I can get on it just by using the EXP bottles. So this is a really good way if you're poor and oh, not if you're poor, but if you're like if you're gear poor but you have a lot of money because you've got a big farm, you can come over buy tons of this. Hide in the corner, go ahead and chuck it on yourself. Make sure no one else is stealing your XP. Bam, see my levels going up very nicely here. And it's fairly cheap as well, like when you think about it. Because $300 is really easy to make, and sorry if this is loud. For some reason the game hates XP bottles. They make the most annoying noise ever. Am I still rich enough? Oh, there, there they are, thank you very much. Give me that XP, bro! And I recommend a level 30 enchant when enchanting, enchanting your stuff. I don't know if it's still the case, but it used to be the case to get the best enchant, you have to be level 30. Um, next update, when they introduced the lapis, it's not the case of at all. But projectile protection, cheers bro. Very useful, thank you very much. Not really, that is 100% useless unless I'm in an archer battle. We'll chuck this down. We'll get another level 30 enchant real quick before heading back to the base. See, actually, I have like a few K there did me really well. And I'm lagging it. Nice. I'm back! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, here we go. Keep chucking this down. Get to level 30. Did I buy the XP bottles? No, I didn't. I only bought one. GG. Get, I need some more of this stuff. Come on. Chuck, 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 chuck. Only five more levels. Hit level 30, and then we'll get another enchant real quick. And... Oh, wow. So close, yet so far. There we go. Alright, one more thing, level 30. Let's go ahead and enchant the pants. Blast protection, yes! 
100% useless. Hades is the best at enchanting stuff ever. I'm just going to get five levels and we're just going to chuck the rest on here. Protection one. Wow. So my level five enchant got something more useful than my other stuff. No. This one only starts at six. Is there a smaller enchanting table? I think there might be in this room. Let's go check it out. Yes, there is. By the looks of it. Come on. Level one enchants. Level ten. No, not level 10. Yeah, protection one. All right, nice. The two low level enchants gave me something better than the two level 30 enchants. GG game, not making sense. Logic right there. Slash home, slash home. Let's head back to the home here. Let's pimp out this farm. Drifter, you've done a good job so far, man. But we need to expand it majorly if we want to make some major dough here and get some money to start raiding. Because at the moment, I do not have the money to start raiding. And I could ask for donations from you guys and be like, come on guys, send me some money, who's got raids? But I really want to at least be able to contribute myself. And I'm totally stuffing this up, as you can see. I'm placing random blocks everywhere and I don't actually have a uh, an axe to fix it. So, there we go. This is the best looking farm in Oz. Oh my. GG. Hey, it's number one block placer ever. That's all I have to say. Come on. No. Hades, please place blocks logically. This is the biggest fail farm I've ever seen. But let's patch it up. And if you guys have some more time, because I'm fairly rushed in my recordings, and I don't want to put too much effort into my base, because, of course, anyone can join and raid it. But if you guys do have the extra time and resources, you can set all this up with redstone pistons. So when they're all, all fully grown, you press a button and knocks all the cocoa beans off. So it's much quicker if you do it that way. You could even pick them up with hoppers, make it more and more automatic so you could do farming quicker, quicker, and quicker. So it's definitely worth doing that if you're in a faction by yourself. Or even if you're in a big faction. It's just if you've got a faction of all people you trust. That's what you need. As long as you can trust them, it's all good. So definitely do that, guys. And you don't have to build cocoa beans either. <laughs> Let's just chuck cocoa beans on all these blocks. Wow, that is so ghetto. And he's the, <laughs> he goes to destroy the block. That's so bad. I'm actually ashamed. He's fixing it up. Thanks, man. He's, he, he's punching the blocks as well. He doesn't have an axe either. We're the biggest fails ever. But there you go. Definitely worth it. I'm going to chuck these cocoa beans up here for anyone who's joining the faction. And as I said, I'm increasing the faction limit. So make sure to join, guys. Slash F join. Hades Army, that's how you join and join in on this fun. You have to find the base yourself because there is no F home. Slash F home. Slash F home. Yeah, there is no F home, so you have to find the base or get TP'd here. That's just to make it a little bit harder so it's not totally swarming with people. But yeah, definitely come join if you don't have a faction or if you're interested. I'm going to chuck this gear in here as well, so enjoy that. If you're the first person to watch the video and... You didn't pause it to find that first chest. You may be the first person to grab yourself this if you're in the faction. So there you go. And now that I've been doing a bit of work on the base, and I've hit a chest, I think we should do the rank giveaway. I'm going to tab out here and get the name. So, as always guys, every episode of my PvP series, I give away a free rank to a lucky person who subscribes and likes my content and just basically watches my YouTube videos. That's all you have to do, really. And they entered by typing their in-game name, like this, HeyDMC, in the comment section below of any of my PvP videos. And then you write, you write the reason why you want a free rank. So you go, I want one because I'm super cool. Or I was in that video where I killed the guy who was shooting bows at you. Just say something, say whatever you want. You have a chance to win and Make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment, you have a chance to win. And the winner for yesterday's video is, drum roll please, it is Brooke03, congratulations. I believe that is a girl's name, so congratulations. I was going to say him, but or her. it's a her, so congratulations. You get yourself a free rank upgrade. Whatever rank you are on the server, I will upgrade it. So I'll be checking it on Bycraft, which is of course the... Uh, the Hadescraft website, and I'll be processing the rank above yours. So congratulations, free rank for you. Make sure to check out the server. I'd love to see you joining my faction, or if you already have your own good faction, of course do that, but ally me. I always want to get a good ally of all the new people starting off at the server, and people who follow my content is always good. 
And now that I've done that rank giveaway, I'm going to start looking for some 1v1s. Now, I have been doing a lot of 1v1s and I'm still undefeated, so... I really want to try and keep this up, we'll see. Make sure to stay tuned to see if I win the 1v1s. And I'll be right back once I've found a good place to do it, and I've found some people to 1v1. Alright guys, it looks like Drifter68 wanted to do a 1v1, and I couldn't turn him down, seeing as he was in my faction helping out. So here we go, we're going to start the 1v1 with him, and hopefully I can pull out another win here. Let's give him the signal. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Alright, alright, what are we going to do here? I reckon we go for a bow. Oh, hey, he gets the first shot. Oh, got to jump down here. Oh, no, I took fall damage. Bad move by Hades. Bam, another hit by me. Oh, what the, what's this? Why was there a hole there? Alright, come on. Come on. Where did he go? I lost him. He's crouching somewhere. We're going to move up. Going for the kill. Oh, I had a piece of stone where my sword usually is. That would have been awkward. Where did he go? Not good. We're not supposed to lose the enemy mid-battle. It's a bad... Maybe he's trying to regen his hearts. There he is. Die! Die! No! 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 I gotta get the last hit! Oh, that was so close! That was a really nice battle though! Oh. I don't believe I won that one. That was actually down to the wire. I was on three hearts. If I would have missed a hit, or if he would have got an extra hit, I would have been gone. That's literally one crit with the Iron Sword can take out three hearts. So that was a good fight there. We're going to go ahead and TP him back. TP, drift out of Hades MC. We're going to heal myself up, and we're going to chuck him down his armor. So he's all good to go once again. And hopefully... We can win we can win this battle as well. Did I pick up that? I think I'm picking this stuff back up. There we go. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to end a chance to that to make sure I don't lose his head because I am keeping all the people's heads that I beat in 1v1. So I've got a good little collection going on here. But yeah, I'll stay over this side this time if he wants. He can run over to the other side. There we go. Let's get ready to give him the signal for round two of the 1v1. Best of three. One, two... Three, go, 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 go. He saw the signal. Time to get the bow shot. It's these first bow shots that really matter. See, the first hit, that's what you want. If you get the first hit, it makes you feel a lot more confident. You're a lot more better off. Yes, I got another hit there. Oh, I should have hit that one. That was a bad play by me. Yes, I got another hit there. That's my chance. I've hit him three times. He's hit me once. I'm ahead in health, so now's my chance to make a move. And I, I need to get rid of that piece of stone. That's really putting me off. Bam! And Drifter is down! That's what I'm talking about, guys. Another kill there. That was a much better, much smoother 1v1. Because the bow shots, you get them weak. And once you've got the advantage with the bow, you got to go in for the kill. That's how you do it, guys. That's definitely the way to go there. So we're going to TP him back. I'll TP him back over this side, I guess. Here we go. Bam! There you go, man. I'll chuck down all of your stuff. There you go. And looks like we've got a spectator as well. Oh, I'm picking up the stuff. Was I? I don't know. I don't know if I was picking it up. There you go. There's your stuff, man. Does he have everything? Hopefully he does. Let's put his head in the ender chest. So I've already won the 1v1 because I've won 2 out of 3. But I do want to finish it off and do at least 3 battles with everyone. Let's give him the signal. 1, 2, 3. Go, 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 go. Crouch. Jump. Shoot. Yes. Oh, how did he get that hit? That was bad. Oh, yes. Hades gets another one. We knocked him off the tree. That's definitely our cue to go in. Oh, I nearly screwed up that jump. Crouch. Jump. Shoot. Bam. I got him with that one. But he had a backup um, arrow waiting for me. But it wasn't fully charged. You see, I didn't take much damage. Come on. I just got to swerve his arrows here. And go for the hit. No. What was that? That was crazy knockback! What? What? <laughs> I died! Did he die as well? Drifter died as well! It was a draw! <laughs> GG man! GG! <laughs> he actually got a draw, that's probably the first draw... Oh, it is the first draw I've ever got in a 1v1, and it'll probably be the only draw. But I wonder how he got so much of a knockback there. That was a little bit weird, but... 
I wasn't expecting it, and it looks like neither was he, because we both died there due to falling off the trees, taking fall damage, and that was a good 1v1, so shout out to him for that. And I am going to be wrapping up the episode now because I it is getting pretty late and I'm planning to do a live stream tonight as well. So if you guys haven't checked out my live stream, make sure to check it out at twitch.tv slash hagetv. Also check out my brand new Hadescraft Mind Frenzy Hades Productions t-shirts. That link will also be in the description. Chuck the video a like. Don't forget to get that chest that I hid. Enter the free giveaway. And yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.